So I want to give you guys a very, very enthusiastic what's going on, guys. I missed you guys. And I do. I miss you. Oh, my God. Milo, are you kidding me? This just adds to it even more. Milo just chewed up a water bottle inside the bed. I'm not sure in the bedroom right now because it's a little bit of a disaster because we're in the middle of a reorg, as I always am. So we were robbed. Somebody broke into my car last night. We didn't find out till earlier today. I've been talking to the police, calling all the banks, doing all that fun stuff. Just to show you guys that this is legit and not some stupid clickbait or anything like that. I have to file a police report and I submitted that online and I have that here. Follow up required for your online police report. That's my police report number there, there. Um, Ottawa police. Uh, and you can see they're just, they're, they're just asking me questions about my wallet that was stolen and my ID and credit cards. Now, to be fair, you gotta be a pretty special kind of stupid like me to leave your wallet in the car. Um, I do that a lot and I won't be doing that anymore. Not only did I leave one wallet in the car, I left two wallets in the car because your boy is dumb. Here's what happened. At around 2.30, Emma calls me. She's like, hey, have you seen my ID? I'm like, no, I haven't seen your ID. It was in the glove compartment, right? Or it was in the cup holder. Uh, she's like, yeah, uh, but there's a whole bunch of stuff everywhere. So I can't find it. Like everything's just all over the place. Like, why did you do that? And I'm like, I didn't, I didn't make a mess in the car. Granted, so the little backstory is I work from home now. So I don't go anywhere. I have the gym in the basement, so I don't leave. I, we don't really leave the house anymore for anything other than like getting stuff. Cause we're in like, Ottawa's in a pretty big lockdown right now. You're not supposed to leave the house unless it's absolutely necessary. So we really don't go outside. We don't leave the house. Like the only time I leave the house is to walk the dogs. That's why it took us so long to realize that something was wrong with the car. Cause we don't go anywhere. So 2.30 in the afternoon rolls around. Emma's in the car looking for her, her ID. You know, in between the passenger seat and the driver's seat, how there's that little thing that opens up. That thing that opens up has a whole bunch of stuff in it. And it was all over the place. So I'm, I'm like, I, I didn't do that. And in my head, I'm thinking, Emma Emma did that and she probably didn't remember or something. She never made the mess. So I'm like, well, okay, let me figure this out. And in my head, I'm still thinking that, oh, she probably just doesn't remember her going to the car. So I grab the dash cam and I pull up the dash cam footage. You don't see him actually on the dash cam ruffling through the stuff. You just hear him because obviously the dash cam's pointed in front of the house, like at the front of the car. But he gets out of the car and you can see him like go around and you can see him like, like just kind of closing his bag up and like, and like leaving. And I would love to show you guys that footage, but it shows my house and it's very noticeable, like which one is ours. And you guys already know we have issues with people like showing up at the house, but here I'll, I'll, I'll I mean, I, I know this isn't really worth much, but like here's him ruffling through the stuff. You can kind of hear it. You guys hear that? I pray to God that none of you ever have to deal with this. But watching this and like knowing that some random person is going through my stuff right now and like my ID and my credit cards and like in my car, like with all my stuff in it is just, I can't explain this feeling. It's, it's such a like, like I can't, I can't explain this. It's so weird. Like, like we actually are considering moving now just cause like, I don't want to live in a neighborhood like that. Like I don't want to live in a place where like now I have to fear that my car's going to get stolen or my house is going to get robbed or like this or that. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't want to worry about that. So we are like Emma and I already talked about it. I know we literally just moved into this house. Like we just moved into this house. Um, so yeah. That's where I'm at right now. To top all that off and not to kind of steer the conversation away from us getting robbed, the house has been barbaric. Just as creepy as as it's always been. It's been pretty wild actually. Let me take you guys on a little tour. Man, seriously? Getting fing robbed? Like bro, we just moved into this place and like we're, we're getting comfortable and we're, you know, like... You know when you move into a new place and you're still getting like used to, used to the area and like just kind of like settling in and then something like this happens and it really like with the vibe um max oh hi hey wait a second okay some good news though some good news i don't know if you guys have realized but hold on hold on okay i know my clothes didn't change or anything but if i had the merch here that i ordered it would the new merch is out so there is a new blessed lineup, Blessed V2. It features your boy Max, 
and your boy Ali. This is exactly what it looks like. Hold on, let me show you guys on my phone. That's the new merch design. So there's me, obviously. There's Max, and there is the Blessed, and you know, Max and Ali. So that's the Max and Ali Blessed lineup. Don't know if you guys noticed like a theme in the designs, but I'm really going after like the cartoons that I used to love as a kid. So this one's Scooby-Doo theme. The other one was Rugrats theme. This one's Scooby-Doo theme. I know that it's been a, it's been a shit day. It's been okay. I spent the whole day talking on the phone with the bank. Uh, I had to call the credit union because um, I don't know if you guys know, but in Canada we have like a um, social insurance number. Uh, it's kind of like your social security number, but if your social insurance number gets compromised, you have to call the credit union so they can like, if any time somebody uses your 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 social insurance number they're like hey somebody's doing your social insurance number like is this you and then they, they got your back like that which is dope um so the guy that took my shit f you i don't like you i wish you the best but f you for making me like spend my day doing that uh so yeah that was not fun but the artist that did the design oh, he did such a good job i'm really really happy with the stuff and i'm really excited yeah anyways i'm really excited about that stuff max you're a star and you don't even know it that's so crazy to me that he doesn't even know you guys are like, like he like doesn't know, you know what I mean? He's just like, me and daddy are just doing a whole bunch of fun stuff. Let's dive into some ghost stuff. Let me show you guys what happened. Excuse me, cat. Look at this. I swear to God, I didn't do this. I swear to God. It's freezing down here, but this. I came down to squat and this was broken. Nothing here to break it and it was still exactly like, it wasn't, it hadn't fallen over. Um, there's no like broken glass or anything on the floor. It just shattered just like that. Straight, just broken. Did you see anything? We need an interview with you. Um, nothing on these. Emma did want to share some stuff with you guys because she's been experiencing obviously a lot of stuff too. I've been experiencing a lot of stuff. Um, again, so from the bedroom, I mostly hear a lot of creepy sh here has been awful inside the office. You guys know that stuff happens, but it's the throughout the day stuff that really kind of gets me because throughout the day, like it's almost as if it's suspensefully building up to, 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 to mess with us. I get hit with this like huge draft of cold. So just to give you an idea of what I mean by the cold stuff, like I'll open the door here, I'll walk in and like I'll go to sit and I'll just get hit with this draft of cold out of nowhere. The windows are sealed, there's nothing here and I'll get hit with a, a draft of cold and it's like my papers will fly off here. Like my, my, the papers on my desk will, will fly and it, it's frustrating because like I need a security camera everywhere just to be able to catch it on camera. And I think honestly, I might just do that. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's go see what the thermostat is at right now. It's at a nice comforting 20 degrees. Okay. Well, that's what it's at right now. It wasn't there earlier today and it's never ever at that. It's always at like 13 degrees. It's always absolutely freezing. It's not a fun time because it's freezing the temperature legitimately drops by itself um emma mentioned some smells that she was getting um i i smell personally i stink me so i never know if it's just me kidding i smell like roses i actually smell incredible that was a joke i'm very 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 hygienic i swear i go i i'm over hygienic i'm like a clean clean freak um, but I'll be in the basement working out and I, I do get wafts of um, It smells like just rotting flesh. It smells like the, the like smells like rotting like the same Essentially the same smell and coldness that we were getting at the condo We're getting here like whatever was at the condo is here with us now and it is not a good time so, so Do you want to tell them what you've been experiencing? We haven't really gotten a lot of your accounts in this house. We always get me talking Honestly, I hate talking about it. Like it, um, but whatever. So uh, I don't know. Like, so what has happened? Like, um, the like the other day you talked about 
how you smelled something rotting and you thought the garbage was messed up and then you remembered it smelled like the condo. Tell them about that. Yeah, so like this wasn't just the other day. This happened a couple of times. Okay. Uh, this has happened a couple of times now. Like, I'll be sitting on the couch, like, usually late at night after I was going to bed, and, I'll, like, I'll just get this, like, brief whiff of, like, rotten whatever. Like, I don't, uh, like, I, I wouldn't say it's, like, rotten, like, it smells kind of like garbage, but it, it sounds, smells worse than that. Like, anyways. So I get like a whiff of that every... Do you hear that? Yeah. Do you hear the cat meowing? Sorry, we're gonna get back to that. No, that's fine. I heard that too. Cat, are you okay? Cat? Meow once for good, meow twice for bad. That was weird. Sorry, continue. No, that's okay. Um, but yeah, anyways, rotten smell, like, once in a while while I'm sitting on the couch, it just kind of passes by my nose, but it's very, very prominent. Um, then there's other, uh, the f sleepwalking shit is absolutely, like. What? I'll be sitting on the couch, like, and you'll like sleepwalk. Who? You. Me? Yeah, and you're always naked. I don't sleepwalk. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. How? No, I don't. Yes, you do. I, babe, I haven't slept. I, I, when do I sleep naked? Okay, it's well, freezing in this house. you're sleepwalking, you're butt naked. So I don't know if you like, I don't know, like. I don't sleep strip. Well, <laughs> I don't know what the answer is, Allie. Like. Catch it live on OnlyFans. I, I, I sleep slip. <laughs> I know, I know these people are jealous that I get to see this all the time, but no, yeah, like you. I you sleepwalk? Naked? Yes, you sleepwalk naked. It, like, not all the time, but like enough that it's like a pattern, yes. Huh. Um, and then. You hear the cat still meowing, eh? What the f it's loud meows too. Can you go check on it? Yeah. Cat? Okay, you're good. <laughs> Christ! Kovu? Okay? Luna is here. She's fine. Hey. This was not here. That was on the rack. That fell off the rack. Babe, that could have killed the cat. Babe, this can't slide off the rack. Look at this. Something lifted this off the rack. Something lifted this off the rack. That's 135 pounds. Babe, that could have killed the cat. That, that has to stay on the ground from now on. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't know what else to say. Like, there's, we, oh my God. Holy Okay, this plus. I can't leave him downstairs. I, about this plus the thing that happened today, we're moving. Honestly, I'm down. I swear I'm moving. Oh. Okay. You look at him, he seems scared. Cool, come here, mom. What happened, buddy? It's okay. Excuse my spray tanned hands. <laughs> Oh, cool. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Hey, you're fine. Wow. Literally never a dull moment. On Disney. I don't... Are you allowed to say Disney? <laughs> I don't know. Are we, it's a, the Mickey Mouse is going to knock on my door, kick the shit out of me, and charge me with copyright infringement. Bro, Luna's completely unfazed. These guys are, like, stressed out, and she's just like, I exist. Because I like, or you exist because I like you. Whoa. I think Luna's like super cat. I just want you to know, like right now, I can only see her eyes. Like <laughs> so Luna, awesome. literally just eyes. 
That's amazing. That's why I love her. She looks like a little ninja. Okay, so what are we gonna do? I don't know, start charging people to come over? <laughs> Experience our haunted house? <laughs> guys, if you guys wanna start visiting- Matt, don't invite anybody here. I'll be back, maybe. I don't know. I don't like, I'd even plan on filming a video today. Um, I, all this stuff just happened. So it's been a hell of a day. It's been a hell of a life. Yeah. Um. Anyways, I'm. I'll pick up my camera again. Hey. Do you wanna tell them something? You want them to go buy the merch? You want them to go buy the new merch? Yo, go buy the new merch. It's sick. It is.